Hey Marlene, thanks for coming in to help us improve medical care to Indigenous seniors. So can you share with us, what are some challenges that Indigenous seniors have with using the medical system? And what do you think should be done about these problems? I find that a lot of the seniors, they have trouble finding a good doctor and uh, some of their meds, they don't realize uh, some daily stuff they need are covered by the medical and they're not aware of it. So I think more information needs to be out for them. Yeah, and that's what- easier access to good doctors. Okay, great. So good doctors and more information about what benefits are covering medications that they're paying for, which should be for free. Yes, because yes. Uh, during this COVID, I went and did shopping for a senior and he needed, um, Metamucil, and the first time I see the price on that for uh, a little bottle was forty dollars, and I said, "Whoa, that's crazy!" And he needs that daily, so he didn't realize that that was covered through his medical. So I mentioned to him, and he said he was going to look at look into that. But I um, I know that some doctors won't let them know about these benefits they have. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do is we're going to make sure every Indigenous client and senior knows exactly what they're covered for so we can help them get it. Yes. Uh, second question, what medical services or items do Indigenous seniors need but are unable or unsure how to get? Like I was saying, that uh, the daily stuff, say like yogurt, um, protein, um, medications, some are not covered. And uh, What kind of medications are you, are you thinking? Talk, what, referring the to. ones that are more important, like uh, like like for myself, I have osteoporosis, and I'm supposed to be taking these bone medications, and they're not covered through uh, FNAH or yeah or, or, First Nations Health Authority. Yeah, none of those are covered, so I have to end up paying out of my own pocket for those, and it's uh, forty dollars for a pack. Oh wow, every month. Yes. Holy cow. That's a lot of money for me. And, and for anybody. This, this is very important for me because my bone mass is getting worse every year and I have to take them. So, um, yeah. Okay. Have you ever tried to get a special request to get it approved? Yes, we did that and it was denied. Okay. Did you do the second one where you would appeal that denial? No, I wasn't aware okay. of that. Okay. We'll help you do that. That's the second stage because the they can always say first no the first time, but then the next time you gotta reappeal that. So right. we're helping other clients do that. Uh, we're gonna help you do that also. Mm -hmm. Third question, um, if you can do anything to help elders or seniors, indigenous seniors in the community, what might that be? Anything they need? Yeah, anything. If you anything. could think of a service like or something. They need, like, I don't know, grocery shopping or information. Um, I do help them. If they're not aware of anything, I let them know. If I know about it, I will let them know. Okay, I, I've so heard I find a lot of them, they have trouble with uh, transportation mostly. Transportation. So, so how come they need help with grocery shopping? Is because they have no car or? Yeah, uh, some elders say they, um, like myself, I have to use a shopping cart and then some, it gets very heavy. So going on bus is such a long ways. I, I don't just go to one spot. There's other places I can get other items cheaper than than areas close to me yeah so it depends okay so it's mostly like the, el the elders yeah. and seniors don't have a car and they have they, to go so many they, spots yeah they have their spots where they can get stuff cheaper okay and, and uh, have to have to uh, uh, travel a long distance yeah. to get what they're what they're used to i know some some of uh, my elders, they're used to going to one area and yep. they know it's cheaper there, they'll okay. go there. And that's a, a distance away. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thanks so much, Marlene. Really appreciate it. And then, yeah, I've got the, uh, today's coffee card is from JJ Bean. Oh, okay. Well, not from JJ Bean. That's where we bought it, but it's from us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say JJ Bean bought it, gave you. Awesome. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye.